<laughs> Last time on I, the Somnium Files. Now you're upsetting me. Prepare yourself for a comeuppance. Humanity finally develops artificial intelligence. <laughs> this is the result. <laughs> this evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. This corpse isn't Iris. It's someone else. Which means... Iris is still alive. Not necessarily. She could be alive. We haven't confirmed that yet. <sighs> Multiple stab wounds with a single-edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Judging by the size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then. Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least 10 years. 10 years? 10 years? She was killed more than 10 years ago? Exactly. Her identity is unknown. Could they be like trafficking body parts or something? I know they cut so into tiny pieces and put it in a vase, but I don't even know who's doing what anymore, to be honest. Her killer is also unknown, but there is one likely suspect. Who? Let's consider the clues. The scene. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I'm glad they're reviewing all this because I don't remember half this shit because it's like the second route we finished. Sunday night, we saw So here. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed repeatedly in So Somnium. But it wasn't Iris, it was this woman. That was 10 years ago. That is highly likely. What we saw was So's memory from more than 10 years ago. I believe that is the case. But then why would that be plastered over Iris? Renju and So? But we still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to... So Sejima. Is he even going to talk to us? This never seems to work. Unless he's going to already be dead again. Searching for Iris, but unfortunately, they didn't turn up anything. Iris's whereabouts are still unknown. I'm worried about her, but without any leads, we'd just be looking for her blindly. I should focus on the investigation for now. It will eventually lead me to Iris, I'm sure of it. With that in mind, I headed to So's mansion. I thought I Whoops. I had my mouse down. So I thought I told you never to show your face again. A pond. There's a small island in the center of the pond. Ah, uh, no Kappa joke this time. <laughs> no mystical creature that So owns. So one thing I'm confused about, probably because I just haven't gone this route in a little bit. Did we still go visit Hitomi and tell her that Iris is dead yet? Or is this like a situation where immediately after we found the body, we called the police and then we thought about it for a little bit? I don't know. I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead... I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? Date, look. I knew it. He's lying. You killed her, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I've had enough of your shit, Congressman. <laughs> you wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. Question him. Where is Renju Okiura? You know where he is, don't you? You were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's definitely a connection between you two, and that's not all. Number 89 called your secretary. The same number 89 that Renju escaped with. Now tell me, where is Renju? Suddenly, the gang of bodyguards stormed out of the mansion. An instant they surrounded me. <clears throat> We'd like to ask you to please leave. So is still invincible, unless someone somehow gets behind all of his bodyguards, kills him, and cuts him into pieces. Damn it, So! There's nothing we can do. We did arrive without a warrant. We were technically trespassing. If he had called the police, we would be in a predicament. We would have been detained immediately. Who 
would look after Iris then? Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? Ugh. Calm down, Date. We still have our lead. Lead? Before I explain, we need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Let's get her a name. Because she is frozen solid, we could call her All Ice or Alice. What do you think? Alice and Iris. I believe it fits nicely. All right, Alice. What about her? Someone might be able to identify her. Who? Allow me to ask you three questions. Oh, here we go again. 30 questions with Iva. Again with this? First question. You have seen this corpse more than twice. Three times, in fact. When was the first time? When was the first time? It's been such a long time. Three days ago, Saturday... No. It was in the Somnium. Saturday. Three days ago. Saturday night when I synced it a bit. Yeah, because we saw it in the Somnium, then we saw it... ...in what we thought was like a different alternate universe, and then we saw it again. Yes. In the Somnium world, we saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Question two. But that means that Mizuki saw her. Mizuki saw that corpse, which means Mizuki... ...saw her die? That doesn't make any sense. How would Mizuki even know what she looked like? Right, hold on a second. Just checking. This is probably a stupid thing to check, but... Oops. Mizuki's 12, okay. I was thinking, like, what if Mizuki's her child? But the, it just doesn't match up. Could it be that So had an affair with someone that he didn't want people to know about? And so he murdered her after she gave birth? Who is the girl? Who's the girl we saw frozen in the sink? Alice. Now I know. That girl was probably Alice. Most likely, yes. So we have technically known Alice for three days. One last thing. The final question. In which Somnium did we see Alice? Mizuki's. My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. You mentioned something about Mizuki's Somnium being some kind of prophecy. But prophecies are nonsense. Dreams are not made of the future. They are made from the past. Therefore... Mizuki has seen Alice before. There is no other explanation. Aiba, where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday. The Kume Shrine. The Shrine? Why would she be there? Unknown. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. But, uh, here's the thing, though. Unless Mizuki saw that recently, like, unless she stumbled across the body recently, hmm. the thing about this game is normally you'd go like, oh, that's nonsense. We saw the future, whatever. But knowing how they write their games here, nothing is off the table. Date. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. What are you doing here? Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. Like what gluten-free means and eyelash extensions and aerial yoga. Aerial yoga? And we would talk about all our problems together. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. So I thought that maybe she'd be here. But it looks like I was wrong. Where's Renju? I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. That's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. He was looking for Iris. If we could just talk to Renju, like, the entire case would be solved. It could be. So I need to know where he is. But I haven't been able to get a hold of him. 
Where's Oda? I think he's searching Akihabara right now. Last time he checked in, he said he didn't have anything. About Alice. Mizuki, I have something very important to ask you. I told Mizuki about the frozen corpse we saw called Alice. You've seen her before, haven't you? Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories. So that corpse... Mizuki, please, answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Huh? What do you mean? About Alice. I told Mizuki everything. About how Renji ran off with the assassin number 89. And number 89 is connected to Sosajima. And that Sajima is linked to Alice's murder. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju and number 89. And that might lead me to Iris. Nizuki looked down at her feet quietly. I could see agony in her face. The silence lingered. Finally, she steeled herself, lifted her head, and spoke. Okay, I'll tell you about Alice. It was about a month ago. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemniscape. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him, quietly. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then, after a little bit, he left. I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift, and I looked under the hood myself, and then... You saw Alice's dead body. But at the time, I thought it was Iris. Oh, so that's why you pictured it like Iris. Why didn't you call the police? What was I supposed to do? Daddy would have been in trouble. So you kept quiet this whole time? Yeah. Did you talk to Renju about it? What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. I thought that, as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Repressed memories are often the subject of somnia. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. What did you do after that? The corpse looked exactly like Iris. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't, so I went to Iris's house. Huh? What's wrong, Mizuki? Oh, is that why... Iris was hmm. alive. I thought I was going crazy, or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. Oh, I see. I actually met with one of the higher-ups at Daddy's company last night, before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some, and... And? I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I guess he didn't want to let this place go. Oh. Or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate, I think. So, he killed this person. That Whoops, what'd you say? He killed this person, and I guess he wanted to hide this, or I guess he can kill it. So killed them, but he wanted to hide this body or something, or maybe the body was in there, or maybe it's something So did to try and get a monopoly on what Renju was doing. Maybe So killed someone, and they're like, hey, we have the body of a person you know, but we'll only allow you to have it if you exchange ownership over to us for the company or whatever. But you can still say, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Alice. 
Okay, anything else? On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. And the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. I see. How long was he managing the warehouse? Inazuki, how long was he managing the warehouse? For 18 years. That's what the man told me. 18 years? What? From that long ago? Yes. Iba, I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. The girl who looks like Iris. What's her name? Monica EY. 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. Does that mean... Oh, no. Wait, then... Hitomi never gave birth to Iris? That's Iris's mom? So... Something happened, and Iris's mom died. Um, Renju maybe felt guilty about it? And wanted to... No, that doesn't make much sense. I, I don't know, but Hitomi wound up raising her somehow. I always thought Iris's hair wasn't natural. I thought her pink hair was dyed and that it was just like, you know, because she was an idol practically. So she dyed her hair some vibrant color. I didn't think it was natural. A graduate of a Toku high school. But I guess we saw her as a kid, so I can't really say that. What? Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. Oh, he got a girl pregnant. We've known each other for 20 years now. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Iwai, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Oh. Alice's... Monica. Hitomi's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. But why? Monica's body was found just now, but even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Aiba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. Roger that. Or are we gonna sync with her? Damn, that was a bombshell. <laughs> that... I wish I could say I was smart enough to have called that, but I'm not. Um, a lot of the times, I don't feel like I'm very good at calling out things that happen in advance. I do it sometimes, but not always, and this game is just... Hit me on every level as far as surprises go. But boss is still suspicious. Calm. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity. And yet here you are, cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Shall I guess why? Information on Monica. Because that body isn't Iris. And you know it. Are you serious? Yes. Her name is Monica Ewai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. Oh, I'm starting to see. I think I'm starting to see what's going on. Could it be that... I'm starting to see the connections form in my brain. Could it be that at the time, she loved Renju or something? And Renju got this girl pregnant, and she felt like Renju took him away from her? And then... Something happened and she died? I don't know. But we know Renju committed a crime. Illegally disposing of a body. And we can prove it. 
Um, where she was found. The cold storage warehouse where the body was found. Ugh. Cold storage warehouse where the body was found. It's been managed by Renju Okiura for almost two decades now. By the way, I just checked that achievement, and you just get achievements for doing the investigations correctly without missing a beat. So I guess that was the entire, like, questioning of Itomi. And witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. You and Renju have been close since high school. It's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body. And I remember you telling me once. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Iwai, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. How did you know that she was dead? I didn't. Don't play dumb. I know you're hiding something. You know what happened 18 years ago. And you knew she was pregnant. You were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Tell me. Tell me everything. Date, she's not going to talk. Sink with her. Oh boy. I think we have literally synced with every single character in the entire okay, game. I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but please, come back within six minutes. I can't promise you that, Pewter. What do you mean? I mean I'm not coming back until I find something. Date, you can't. Why not? You know why. Because it will take over my consciousness? Yes. But if it's only a little... No, not even a little. If the sink passes the critical point, the damage will be irreparable. But what does that mean exactly? Yeah, because right now we don't really trust... Well, I mean, we... We found out about Boss and the other Somnium, but... That's right. Are you two hiding something? No. I'm not hiding anything. Then let's try it. Let's experiment with my mind. Then we'll know for sure what'll happen. Ugh, fine. I'll just say it. Yeah? Pewter, tell him. Me? You know more <laughs> about it than I do. Well... Here we go. What happens after six minutes of sinking? Well, first off, six minutes is not a hard limit. It could be seven or even eight. I don't care about the exact time. I'm asking what happens if you go beyond the limit. Do you remember the story I told you? Oh, the... I knew this was going to come up again. Yeah, why? If you imagine an egg as your consciousness, the yolk is what goes into the subject's brain. The white remains inside your shell. If you go beyond the limit, your yolk will not be able to return to its shell. Because the subject's mind will start to take over the sinker's consciousness, right? I know that part already. Indeed. But there's more to it. After the yolk is devoured, the egg white is brought through the machine next. Huh? And there's more. It's not just the sinker's brain. The same process eventually occurs in the subjects as well. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded. Switched. So they completely switch minds. The human brain has what can be understood as a memory limit. One brain can only hold one consciousness, and it can only contain one person's memories. Anything else? Now you know everything. Talk to the boss. Okay. Why did you keep this a secret? I was unaware of this as well. This information is not on any accessible databases. We had to prevent the possibility that the system could be exploited. Exploited? But... Even if it wasn't you, someone else might try. 
We didn't tell any Sinkers this, including you. Project Sink is a top secret project. It's a matter of national security. Even Sinkers are on a need to know basis. Think about it. What if you were kidnapped by bad people who tried to make you talk? Bad people? A criminal organization, spies from another country, those people. If you blabbed about Project Sink, the entire country might be at risk. You heard it from Pewter. The Sink machine isn't just for entering a person's Somnium. It can also be used to swap bodies between two people. Oh, now So's thing makes sense. You know what I bet? You know what I freak freaking bet. Um, the fact that we saw So with boobs in Iris's Somnium likely means that So may have swapped bodies with Hitomi. That's the guess that I have. I mean, it's not necessarily... It, it, it would make sense because So is so aggressive and Hitomi is so tame. What if that happens and that's their actual personalities? Like, Hitomi's actually a big asshole. And So is actually really conservative but that that's just a theory plus they don't have their eyes missing so who knows they didn't use the prototype sync machine what we do know is that Date could definitely be someone else who we don't know there's also a chance that the person in Date's body may not even be Date as I said before he could have switched memories with someone using the sync machine and that's how he lost his eye meaning that the person in Date's brain right now is someone else and the real killer was Date, hence why we saw him in the Somnium. That clicks together now. But the question is still, who, who's running around his murder, Date? Imagine what this machine would be used for in the wrong hands. That's why I didn't tell you. We can't let the secret get out. Swapping bodies between two people? <laughs> Trading minds? Doctor, you remember what I told you earlier? Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Are you really okay? I'm fine. Start it. Understood. Let us begin. I still don't know if I can trust the boss or not. Because, as we just saw her, she was there when Hitomi was shot all those years ago. What am I looking? Oh, I thought I was looking at a squid. God? God? <laughs> I am the god of fire. I burn erotic books with my flames of red hot anger. Why, how ruthless. <laughs> Are you okay? That hurt. I'll let you read this porno mag if it'll make you feel better. I will burn it. <laughs> The fog is making it pitch black. There's a light. The light over there. Is that a firefly? Let me turn the lights down low. No, 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 no. Okay, let's. Let's do this. Let's get to the bottom of this, finally. I've had enough of everyone's tomfoolery. I need answers. Who the hell's that? Oh, I think I know what's going on. Hitomi saw Renju kill someone. Reveal the hidden secrets. I 
I'm not moving, by the way. It disappeared? No, wait. It might still be nearby. Well, all there is is a flower. Better not lose where I am. A flower bud. I cannot identify the variety. Is it an iris? Worship? Figure out tight smell. Pray to it, Iba. Worship it? Yeah. I will pray to it as though I am mourning the dead. Did that actually work? Well, okay then. It bloomed a little? I don't know what caused it, but it's better than nothing happening. That was the tiniest little mental lock progress. It's like, you walked up to the flower and prayed to it. You did it. <laughs> well, that's good. Oh, there's a rock and there's something way off in the distance. Rock three. Oh, there's a bunch of rocks. There's a hole in a tree too. And there's more lights now. A hole in a tree. I may be able to fit inside. Scream. Yell at it, Iba. Stop giving me orders! Notice there's no timies in this somnium. I didn't know you had all that bottled up. Sorry. My voice is echoing. It must be pretty cavernous in there. A hole in a tree. Please. <laughs> I love how everything changes to please. <laughs> please stick your hand in it. I am not going to be eaten or anything, right? Whoa. I fell, but I am still in the forest. It's darker than before. What? Is someone there? Hey! That voice is... Renju. I know where that voice is coming from. Follow the lights. Five minutes left, Dante. There's the tree. There's a rock. Oh, I found the secret item. What? Got it. A hole in the tree. It looks about as big around as a soccer ball. Just stick your hand in it. I am not going to be sucked in, am I? That's strange. Should have worked. Did you want to see me get <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Every Somnium, it's like stick your hand in the thing, you get sucked in. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, wait, we did get a timey from that. Peek inside? I cannot see anything. It is unnaturally dark. Anything else? I do not see anywhere that air could be flowing from. I feel like this tree isn't the answer. There's all these rocks everywhere. A rock. Check the rock. This is a simple rock, but... Is there any kind of pattern? No, there does not appear to be. This is a weird somnium. I have no idea what to do. A rock. Lift it, I guess? Do what? Just try. Understood. Trying to figure out where the voice is coming from, but... Well, did you find anything? No, of course not. Iba, come on. We need to be real here. We need to find the real answers. So interesting. 
The pattern seems to be showing us kind of where to go. Oh wait, Renju! Renju Okiura. Flirt with him. Hit him. <laughs> Flirt with Renju, do it. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Renju. Come get some of this. Come on! Sorry, that was a bad idea. Don't apologize. This is Renju's fault. <laughs> bad taste. <laughs> Renju Okiura. Talk to him. Renju, what are you doing in a place like this? He won't answer. Not in a place like this, at least. You know, that's... Honestly, Renju. talking to people in Somniums is really dumb. They almost never respond. Well, only action works. This is for neglecting your responsibility what? to Mizuki, you coward. No use. I can't hit him. He just dodged. This Renju is still a teenager. He wouldn't know Mizuki yet. Renju Ok Inspect him? He looks young, but this is definitely Renju Okiura as he appeared approximately twenty years ago. That's a long time ago. So, whatever we have to do, it's nothing to do with Renju. Three minutes, Date. I know, boss. I just don't know where to go. A rock. There's so many rocks and trees and... This is a simple rock. Is there any kind of pattern? No. I think maybe all the rocks are the same? I don't know. Like, from a distance, I can see some of the things here, but... There's a map. Okay, I forgot about this. I don't know how I keep forgetting about this. So there's Renju, there's a hole in the tree. Let's try rock number two. Which is the one right in front of us. A rock. Oh, wait, this is the one we did mess with before. A hole in... Scream? The Emperor is naked! Okay. What about the Empress, though? The Empress is naked! Sounds like my kind of empire. Let's move there. I don't see anything. Nor do I. I don't know what that means. A hole. Tackle it. Understood. I will do my best. I feel like the answer's in one of the rocks. Oh? The photo. This is... The three of them. A picture of Hitomi, Renju, and Monica. Everyone is so young. Hold on to that. Maybe we show it to Renju. Renju, where'd you go? Renju, you ho, where are you? There you are. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. I know, okay? Calm down. Although, honestly, I should probably redo this part of the Somnium. We're running very low on time. Renju Okiura. Show a picture. Renju, look at this. Wait! Renju, stop! Well, we shook Renju. This is a weirdly designed map, because I honestly can't tell which direction we're facing. I just have to guess by the tree that we have to go the other way, because the hole is over here. There it is. What is this hole? It wasn't here earlier. Jump in. Really? Yeah, go ahead. Understood. We're gonna have to go back and like... <laughs> redo most of this. I think. We're not gonna have enough time to complete this Omnium. Spent so much time looking at rocks. How many times are you gonna fall down? Uh, it's even more difficult to see now. Another voice? Monica! That's Hitomi's voice. Oh, Renju and Hitomi were looking for Monica. Where is she? Look for her. There's a hole in a tree three. It's all the way over there. Date, you've got less than 30 seconds. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to restart, aren't I? 
I at least want to take a look at this first. Um. Scream. Hitomi! Date likes Hitomi! Hey, what are you trying to say? Hitomi won't remember this sink. <laughs> but still. That worked? Hitomi stopped. Okay. Time's up. We're gonna have to retry. <laughs> Cause look at the time between lock one and lock two. Or actually, you know what the better idea is? Rather than doing this, I think I figured this out in the other Somnium. So, if what we do instead is after we found the little bonus item, instead of having to look for it in this forest again, I can actually just re-begin the sink. And I get to keep the secret item I found. So we'll be right back once I get back to where we were. Hey guys, right in here and we're back with more Somnium files. So, um... I don't know why I introduced it like this at the beginning of the video, when it's, like, straight in the middle. But regardless, now, our goal is to go visit Hitomi, who we think is over here. Last time we flirted with her, because I just wanted to see it. That's Hitomi. Um... Let's hug her, I guess. Hitomi?! Hmm, I see. Well? She dresses modestly. But underneath, she has a curvaceous body. Good work, Iba. That's good to know. <laughs> That's Let's see. Help. Let's try touching her, I guess. Where? Well, um... You could, you know, touch her... But in this Somnium, she might be a minor. Her stomach. Test how soft her stomach is. If you say so. <laughs> Whoa. I touched it. So, what's the softness situation? Tell me. It was soft. Nice and pliant. No noticeable abdominal muscles. Valuable information indeed. Thank you, Iba. You old pervert. <laughs> That's Hitomi. All right, uh, let's talk to her. I'm going to save this timey for things that we might actually need That's it for. Because we don't get a lot of Tell them. Tell me, what are you doing here? Guess she can't hear you. She looks like she's looking for something. Is this just gonna be like the Renju one where I have to go find something? Oh, there's a hole in a tree three. I wish there was a way to like lock onto some of these things, you know? Like, oh, it's over here. All right, well, we stuck our hand in one, tackled one, screamed in the other. Meaning the only thing we can do is peek inside. What is this? A web of some kind? Well, it would have to be a spider web. Uh, I have web on my face. <laughs> well, that didn't actually solve the problem like I thought it would. Uh, stick your hand in it again, I guess? get sucked in, right? Did we already do this? Sorry if we already did this and I don't remember. Oh. A cord bracelet has appeared on my wrist. Perhaps it belongs to someone. Oh. It might be important. Hold on to it. I guess we'll give it to Hitomi then, like we gave the picture to Renju. You have less than two minutes, Date. I know. You guys are annoying. Here you go, Hitomi. That's Hitomi. Do you remember this? Wait! Follow her! On it! And now for the last mental walk. Oh, I have a feeling it's gonna be a sad story. I, I accused Hitomi of initially being like a murderer, like a jealous murderer or something, but... It's a new hole now. No, I don't know. It's She seems genuinely concerned, you know? They just seem like high school kids. If 
there is nothing left to do. Date, what is going on? I don't know. It's pitch black. I can't see anything. I see. Then it is not me malfunctioning. Can you feel your way around? I can try. I actually have a map. Cluster Amaryllis? What? What is that? Oh, is that the name of the flower? A Lycoris flower. Worship it again. I feel like I doubt this is going to be the answer, but let's try. Nothing is happening. That's to be expected, but still disappointing. A like Um, One let's dig it up then. Let's do it. Wh what? Another hole. I don't know if I have time left to jump in another hole. What the f- Okay, I have to go back and redo everything. I do not have 120 seconds unless this is the last thing we have to do in the entire Somnium. I you know, we'll jump in and figure it out. We've come this far. I will not protest now. Huh? Slow-mo. Please tell me that was the end and I didn't just fail the Somnium by jumping in there. Oh, thank god. That is... Are they burying their dead friend? Together? But why? Wait, her eye's missing. Or maybe they found her? I feel like they ran out looking for her and they found her with her eye taken out. And she was a victim of some of the original murders? Corpse flower. Day five, Tuesday. It told me. I think I know what happened 18 years ago. You three were close. You, Monica, and Renju. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains. And you brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. My guess? Sosajima killed Monica. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'll tell you the truth. The truth. Why do we have to go back to your residence? Shouldn't you have told us in the police quarters? 18 years ago. You're going to see So? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you, and especially not your child. Oh, is So the dad? I haven't told him about giving birth. 
He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. Oh. But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit? I'll be right back. And that's how Hitomi ended up raising her, because she didn't come back. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. It's a GPS transmitter, just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it, but okay, if it'll make you feel better. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal, that he wanted to change Japan, but I didn't understand any of it. We tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened, and it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Rendru or I saw it happen, so I don't know how much of this is accurate, but we could guess what happened. He was probably telling her to like, hey, you need to get rid of that child. And she said no, and so being a greedy old man he is. Panicked and murdered her. Oh wait, it wasn't even so. Wait. Huh? Or maybe perhaps So had a setup to kill her and then last minute changed his mind. Who told you this? Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. About Monica's killer. Date, you said that Monica was killed by So, right? But that's not true. Monica was killed by Saito Sejima. Oh my god. The son of So and his late wife. It's Date. Date killed her. Saito was 12 at the time. 12? 12? Yes. But why would a little boy do that? I don't know. I can't imagine. So Date, at 12 years old, with his mental issue... Because they said he had that special thing that didn't allow him to feel pleasure... ...unless he murdered someone, hence why he's on medication all the time. And, oh boy. Oh, Jesus. He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. What happened after Monica's murder? So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with Saito. The incident was 18 years ago. And 12 plus 18 is 30. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Moma. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. And he took the eyeball. Again, neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then, we saw movement on the GPS. 
The GPS Renj you gave to Monica? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home. But we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so... Renju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. Man, this is just... all coming together, all the little bits and pieces. Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We could only watch as it all unfolded. I knew what the hole was for, but I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast. Before long. We good here? Yeah, cover her. Just a minute. And then he took the eyeball. Beautiful. Oh, God. The Kumakura people covered Monica's body, then left. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What... we saw... <laughs> Monica! Monica! Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then... They'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be... gone. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. Oh, man. I understand. So when we saw that thing where he broke in to kill Hitomi, that was because he somehow realized he had left a loose end open. But my question is, how did they know that Hitomi and Renju knew about Monica's body all those years later, you know? Because it wasn't until multiple years later after, like, they started raising Iris and after... Basically, after everything started happening, that number 89, like, joined their family. So, how did they know? Unless someone saw them here, or... We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. We cleaned her up. And took her to the cold storage warehouse. And that's where she stayed, and that's why Renju. This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it. But it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. 
So that's why she was there. That all makes sense now. Don't worry about the baby. I'll protect her, no matter what. And that's why Renju cares so much about Iris. And don't worry about them, either. The people who did this to you? I will never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. Sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. So it stayed. Hard to believe, though, that, like, no inspectors or anyone came by for that long. Although, why would they even look inside a forklift, you know? Oh, wait, we're actually playing from her view. Steam is rising from the tea. Coffee table. You see the trees in the sky outside. The front door. Renju is sitting down. Did you get the birth certificate? The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. She was the one who gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that. Because a war is about to begin. A war? Between you and the baby. You won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. Be sure to raise her responsibly. I'll help. Occasionally. Occasionally, huh? About Monica's killer. I don't really want to discuss this, but there's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So's son, Saito Sejima. How? Saito was only... Twelve years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. But the thing is, how do they not know what Date looks like? How does no one know? And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. So, his son, or the Kumakuras. I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. But wait a second, hold on. Date has memories of being with Iris when she was little. There were only two people with Iris when she was little. And that was... Wait. I forgot. Cause it's been such a long time since I've seen the cutscene where it showed, like, Date looking down at a tiny Iris. And I don't remember if she said his name or not. But regardless... Whoever he switched places with, which might be number 89, I'm starting to feel, but I don't know. You know, I feel like maybe number 89 is actually Date. The opportunity will come. So wait until the right moment. Okay? My mind's trying to connect all the dots once again. This is insane. Like... The reveals in this game aren't to the level of Zero Escape, because Zero Escape was just off the wall. That entire trilogy is just the most absurd things possible. Like, the most absurd thing about this entire story is the fact that we can go into people's dreams. Otherwise, everything else is pretty grounded in reality. As for the Zero Escape trilogy, uh, I'm not gonna, like, talk about any of the spoilers for that, but that entire trilogy is just, like, no human could have guessed it. <laughs> you know? I was thinking about her name. How about... Iris? Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology? And the colored part of your eye? And the flower, too. Right. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that, 
It's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for I. So both names have something to do with the I. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. Huh. I, which means love. So that's how you came up with the name? Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Yeah. I really like it. And so my life with Iris began. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her. Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep. And I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take 10 seconds before she'd start crying again. So I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. But even with all that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away. But my hands were full, raising Iris. So the deal is, is that they're still trying to kill Iris. And that's why Iris probably disappeared. Because Iris, or not Iris, Renju is the only one that knows how to keep her safe. Which is why she went to him. But in the other Somnium then... I still understand why Shoko was killed. Maybe I'm missing something, but that part doesn't make much sense to me. But I can now see why Renju was killed. Kind of. Maybe. A little. It's, it's still... Some parts just aren't making quite enough sense. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. Miyake War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Um... Both! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too! <laughs> hey, Mommy? Yes? Are you gonna marry him? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> as long as it's Uncle, I'm all for it! I say go for it! I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her, but I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating, but there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would be punished by the law, and the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean Iris's secret would be uncovered as well. Yep. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. I didn't want to lose Iris. But... But... 
Fate can be cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It was. Some of the cutting edge nano machines can even go inside your body and Are you this. for real? <laughs> she was fixed by nano machines, son. <laughs> they can even cure cancer. And they go beep beep beep. That's what mom said. Nano machines. Nano machines could remove the tumor. But the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary, it wasn't something And that's why she was talking to So in the courtyard that one day. I thought hard about it. About how I could get my hands on that kind of money. But I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money before it was too late. So I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail Sol Tsujima. Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called So and invited him to come to the warehouse. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago, I had prepared everything, hiding behind the forklift until So came. When he finally arrived, he walked over to the workbench where I had laid Monica's body. He lifted the cloth and looked down. <sighs> he whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. Damn, Hitomi went zero real fast. You can probably guess what I'm going to say next. Be prepared to pay for my silence. I will tell you the exact amount later. And don't tell anyone about this. Not Saisho. Not the Kumakuras. If you do anything even remotely suspect, I will go to the press with the truth. Understand? I told him to keep quiet and cut ties with the Kumakuras, even if he found out who I was. Without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me. And there's no way he'd risk his political career not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. I came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back. But then, something unexpected happened. Date showed up. I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me, and when you were done looking around. Uh, it can't be. Iris. Oh, okay. So there was a little something happening there. I was losing consciousness. My head felt fuzzy. 
Couldn't gather my thoughts, I didn't know what to say. Instead, Iba did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. But Iris's father is Sosajima. Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. However, Hitomi... Whoops, sorry about that. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion for her, just as much as her biological mother would have, if not more. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. Which she couldn't afford. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. Hitomi devised a plan to blackmail Sosajima for the money. The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. I got it, Ivo. Date, snap out of it. I heard Ivo call for me and came too. Continuing today's Sunday's events. I probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the forklift. Then... I left. Makes sense. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. Oh, alright. makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. Hmm. Alright. The body did not disappear. Hitomi moved it. I feel like part of the, uh... Part of the believability of that is for people who especially played other games in the genre, like Danganronpa or this, or things like that, where... Sometimes there's a level of this is impossible happening, so you're willing to really kind of believe anything, you know? I was ready to believe that Iris came back to life. In that Date's Somnium Pal- Like, that's a thing, that's a really good thing the game does, is depending on which route you go, you can believe so many things. You can believe that Iris is completely right, and she's being chased by crazy people from space. <laughs> Which I still find to be an interesting plot resolution, and she dies running away from these crazy people, which in fact are people working for So. Um, or you could go a completely different route and believe that... I don't know. There's there's just so many things. It's really cool how they did that. Those were the events at the warehouse Sunday night. Simple. Why did Rohan remove Monica's eye? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Did Renju tell you, uh, did you tell Renju about blackmailing So? No, I did not. All of this was my idea. Summarize for me. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. We really don't need to go over it again, Iba. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nadami. Yeah, as I said earlier, I don't know what's up with that. Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. We can think about it later. More importantly... I headed for the exit. Wait. Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. But you have no idea where she is, right? Do you know something? Yes. Oh? So you know where Iris is. Where is she? At around 4 o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Renju. We don't know that for certain. It could be number 89. 
Either way, Iris is in danger right now. The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. With me? Yes. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. Hmm. What location? I'm sorry, but this stops now. Oh shit, I should have known. Boss? Date. Run. Did he shoot you? Boss. I know you're crazy for Please Renji, but Jesus worry. Christ. I merely put her to sleep. Oh. What are you doing? My orders. They told us to halt our investigation. The boss was already going against orders as it is. Oh. Which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. The investigation of Monica's murder. What? Monica? But her case has all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. So Sejima. So threatened us, didn't he? I don't know. But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation, as of five minutes ago. In fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. <sighs> what will you do, Date? I suggest you comply. Like hell! Iva, can you turn the power on? Easily. Alright, get ready. Three, two, one! Why'd you leave the gun in there with him? That's a bad idea. Now tell me. Where is the location? I can't tell you. Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? But if I don't go with you... Alright, take me there. Why do I have a bad feeling the one who called is Iris themselves? Why do I have that terrible feeling? That it's not Renju, it's not 89, but Iris. I know this place. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. With the prototype sink machine in it. I knew that. How did I know that? The corners of my mind were aching. Date, I'm sorry, but this is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. They are attempting to wipe all the data. Everything I have accumulated over the last five years, including backups. Pewter? Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. He does have admin rights. I summoned some ice. But that will only buy time. I have four hours at the most. After my ice is broken, Peter will be able to access Wadget, my core programming. He would be able to destroy my mind. Why? It must be related to the orders they are receiving from the top. The higher-ups clearly see you as a threat, Dante. They are attempting to limit your power by removing me from the equation. I suppose their motivation hardly matters now. The most important thing now is finding Iris. And bringing her to Abyss within four hours. Or else, I'll, I will cease to exist. Damn. Date? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Just... Alright. Now you know. So get moving. I'm counting on you, Date. Four hours. It's fine. That should be plenty of time. I gripped my evolver and got moving. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. I'll go in first. You wait here. Okay. It's gonna be like... It's Renju, Stop. isn't it?
He's dead, isn't he? Renju? Someone sink. Number 89? If he synced with Renju, was it to... Was it to switch brains, or was it to gather information? The case remains unsolved! No, I want to solve it right now! <laughs> don't make me go back to the other timeline, I don't wanna... Uh. <laughs> this, like, feels like the rabbit hole just keeps going deeper! So now we're locked off here. Is the other route open? Okay. Well, at the very least now, in this one, we can figure out what happened with Itomi. But I'm going to end this episode here. I don't know how long this video is going to be in compilation. But, man, I've been recording for a while. If you guys like the video, please leave a like. I'd appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Man, this game's just blowing my mind right now. Right now.